The story about Ilan Omar's marriage and potentially marrying her brother is a really weird story indeed. It emerged from an anonymous blog post on some forum, and since then, many people have started digging into it. There have been a lot of strange circumstantial bits of evidence, such as the guy she married claiming her daughter is his niece, which would imply their brother and sister. The general story, which the mainstream media won't really tell you, is that the allegation is that Ilhan Omar married her brother to expedite a visa to the U.S. so that he could go to school or do something here. What they repeatedly try to say is, it makes no sense for her to marry her brother because her brother could come here as a sibling, yes. But doing a simple Google search reveals that sibling requests can take up to 10 years, but marriage requests are almost immediate. So it, it depends. You can bring someone here as a spouse very, very quickly, within months. As a sibling, it could take a very, very long time for obvious reasons. You know, it's like, what priority is more important? The parent to your children or potential or a relative? So naturally, spouses get priority. At least that's what I've read. All that matters is that the core, the crux of the, the, the core of the allegation is that Ilhan Omar, for some reason, staged a false marriage to benefit someone else. Whether or not they're brothers, I think, is actually kind of jumping the gun. However, it seems that a new bit of circumstantial evidence has emerged. Ilhan Omar presumably panics, deleting the evidence and then issuing one of the most ridiculous statements I've ever seen in an attempt to explain why her father, the man she says is her father, has the same last name as the guy she married, which would also imply it's her brother. The whole story is confusing. There's no definitive evidence. But I think at this point, we're seeing the smoke and wondering where the fire is. I don't know what the fire was started by. Is it really her brother? I don't know. But something is going on that's weird and should probably be investigated with this much evidence floating around. The story from Pluralist, 1997 document appears to shatter Omar's explanation for why her husband and dad have the same name. That's right. She... <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's just read the story. Ilhan Omar has denied that she deleted a tweet as part of an effort to hide her alleged marriage to her brother, but the Congresswoman's alternative explanation seems to be contradicted, contradicted by the evidence. The Minnesota Democrat removed a 2013 post from her Twitter account early Tuesday morning. The previous evening, Shaikh, uh, Shaikh uh, Tahidi, Imam Tahidi, who goes by the name Imam of Peace, resurfaced the tweet and noted that it apparently revealed that Omar's father has the same name as her ex-husband. He deemed the tweet proof of long-standing allegations that Omar's second husband, a British citizen named Ahmed Nur Said Elmi, is her brother and that she married him to help him fraudulently gain a U.S. green card to expedite. Expedite is the key phrase. When you look at the actual story from the real reporters, they're not accusing her of trying to get him into the U.S. Blank, like a blanket statement because they know you can do a sibling request. They're saying the allegation is to expedite his move here. OK, I don't know if it's true. I'm just saying that's the allegation. So here's the tweet from Imam Tahidi. And I, and I did look into this a bit. It's very interesting. So he said, your father is nurse said not Nur Omar Muhammad. So you're Ilhan Nur said, and you married Ahmed Nur said, you married your brother. Most Americans don't know that in most Muslim countries, the surname is actually the father's name. He then says resign and links to a tweet from Ilhan Omar, which reads, happy Father's Day to my Abo Nur said, I am forever grateful to Allah for giving me the best father. And we can't see what else she said because the Instagram post has been deleted. She did delete the tweet as well. The tweet has been archived and I can confirm it does exist. Not only that, actually, let me see if I can pull this up. So this tweet here, this is a, this is a website called PolitiWoops. Explore the tweets they didn't want you to see. And we can see this tweet from Ilhan Omar. Happy Father's Day to my Abo nurse said, I am forever grateful to Allah for giving me the best father. Deleted after 326 weeks, weeks at 523 a.m. on 17 September. Yes, it exists. It's real. It's tracked. You can't get rid of it. She called some guy named Nur said her father. So let's read on. In Omar's tweet, which was preserved. Okay, so, so we saw that. Omar, a Somali-American immigrant, was born in Somalia before taking refuge in the United States. 
with her family in the 1990s, according to the St. Cloud Times. Somali children are usually given their father's first name as a middle name and their father's father's first name as a last name. However, later on Tuesday, New York Post reporter Jonathan Levin, Levin, they missed the E, Levine, I think is how you pronounce it. Sorry, John. Tweeted a statement from Omar's spokesperson saying that she had not deleted the Father's Day tweet for the, dis- uh, for the disturbing and hateful reasons that are being implied by conspiracy theorists. Rather, the unnamed spokesperson claimed that the tweet had to be taken down because it attracted too many vile replies. Let's talk about conspiracy theories. No, I'm sorry, Ilhan Nursed. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Well, I don't know if she said her dad was Nursed. The conspiracy theory at this point is that all of these social media posts and all of these statements by you aren't, in fact, you admitting this guy's your brother and this guy's your dad. That's the conspiracy. The the conspiracy is not that you uh, you married your brother. I mean, it is a conspiracy. The conspiracy theory at this point, the simple solution is that you're covering it up. So I did some looking and it turns out, don't take it from me if Imam Tahiti, who understands the, you know, Arabic naming system or the Muslim naming system, says it. I I defer to him, but I did Google it just to be sure. I did some fact checking and sure enough, there are numerous posts where you can see people talking about the patrilineal naming system. That would make Ilhan Omar Ilhan Nur said. Absolutely. So uh, let's let's read on. The spokesperson also said that Nur said is not the name of Omar's father, but rather a nickname he has had since childhood. No mention was made of what Omar's father's real name is, if not Nur said. John Levine tweeted, A spokesperson for Rep. Ilhan Omar sends me the following statement on her deleted tweet from 2013. You've got to read this. You got to hear this to believe it. I kid you not. It says, Rep. Omar and her family are subject to constant threats. When people write vile things on posts about people she loves, including posting disturbing doctored images of her father, she takes them down. Nur said means happy light, and it's been her dad's nickname since he was a kid. He has a public page with the same name. She isn't deleting it for the disturbing and hateful reasons that are being implied by conspiracy theorists and legitimate media outlets shouldn't be spreading conspiracy theories. Well, I can't tell you what the contextual meaning of Noor said is. I can tell you that's not what Google says. I don't know what Google's got going on with Translate. I can only assume it's not correct. But at least according to their definition of what Noor said, Noor Sayed, Sayed means in Arabic, it means free membership. <laughs> which I have to assume is totally incorrect. Unless free, free membership is a, um, I don't know, contextual statement. I also decided to look up Abo, and uh, Abo doesn't come up as anything. Actually, let's do this. M- maybe she's speaking Somali. Is, this, is Somali in here? Uh, there it is, Somali. Yes, in Somali, Abo means security. Okay, let's see what Nur Said means. It doesn't mean anything. So I don't know, I, I don't know. Saying, you know, Abo security to me makes contextual sense, like your father provides you with security or something. But maybe I'm just to translate. Ignore the translate stuff, because I don't, I don't know how to speak the language, so I'm just probably wrong. But it gets better. It gets even worse. Skeptics pointed out that a woman who is allegedly Omar's sister, Layla Elmi, listed her father's name as Nur Said Elmi on a 1997 marriage certificate. Andy No tweets, if it is just a nickname, why did Ilhan Omar's sister list that as her father's name? on a legal marriage document in 1997. Also, the one person whom Omar has publicly recognized as her sibling in the U.S., Sarah Noor, has identified Ahmed Noor said as her father, according to screenshots published in 2016 by Alpha News. Now, the problem with screenshots is they can be doctored. And a lot of journalists have tried to verify this, and you just, you, you can't. It's very difficult. But I think suffice it to say uh, Sahra Noor with Noor said, I love my father. Okay. Sahra Noor is Ilan Omar's sister. That's a fact. They have different last names. What does that mean? I don't know. But I can say they, if this is her sister, and I did look into that, and that's what I found, and she says Noor said is her father, then, well, actually, this doesn't disprove that Noor said is um, a nickname. But it would also call into question why she married a guy whose name is the same as her dad's nickname? Come on, that's just crazy. With the campaign finance violations, with the weird circumstances, the weird addresses listed, the fact that the dude called o- Omar's kids his nieces and nephews or whatever, it's like, at what point do we just say, dude, the circumstantial evidence is pointing to Ilan Omar married her brother? It's a conspiracy theory. It's all a conspiracy. Nothing to see here. Walk away. Look, let's be rational. So far, We have only proven 
weird circumstances. Like her dad has the same name as the guy she married or a guy she says was her dad. Now she's claiming it's a nickname. That just seems really strange to me. It is much more likely if she says the guy's name is Nurse. That's his name, not a nickname. I, she says he has a Facebook page of the same name. That doesn't prove what you think it proves, Ilhan. It proves his name is Nur said. Facebook doesn't allow nicknames. You have to use your real name. So no, you're not hiding from anything. At this point, I think it warrants an investigation. Now, what do you do? You got refugees. It's hard to prove. I don't know. I don't know, man. But I'm surprised anyone supports this woman at this point. She's an, she's an anti-Semite as far as I'm concerned. And it looks like, I mean, she deleted the tweet. That, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to walk away from this one while I still have some sanity left. I am not making any definitive statements. I'm not saying she married her brother. I am not saying anything other than it's all very weird. Okay. Okay. Stick around. A couple more segments to come in a few minutes, and I will see you shortly.